Hi, this is Dan with StarReviews.com, and today we're going to review the as seen on TV product, the pasta and more. If you've seen the infomercial, then you know Kathy Mitchell. She's the, the chef that's in the kitchen talking about how this product is going to change your life. We're going to put it through a couple of tests today. We're going to cook regular pasta, macaroni and cheese, uh, we're going to cook ravioli, we're going to steam up some baked potatoes, and we're going to cook some corn. Now we're going to put this thing through a couple of tests. Let me first go over what comes in the box. You're going to get this cookbook with 50 recipes in it, which is nice to have. You have the actual pasta and more cooker, which is this piece right here. The two handles, which don't get hot after being in the microwave, also double as a measuring cup for two serving sizes of spaghetti. You have the steamer tray, so if you're steaming a vegetable, you put the water in, you put the steamer tray on, leave the vegetables on top. You'll see that in a minute. You have the uh, the top rack here, which you can sit on if you need some more water to steam up more vegetables. It gives you a little more space to put water in the bottom. And it comes with a storage lid. Obviously that just kind of snaps right in place. As well as a straining lid. Now you're never going to cook the pasta or anything with the pasta and more with the lids on. These are just based on, you know, so you can strain your pasta when you're done cooking and also so you can use the pot and just store things that you uh, have in excess. So for our first test, we're going to cook up some rigatoni. It's going to take 27 minutes to cook it in the microwave. We're not so sure what the benefit there is as far as time goes, but let's test and see how it cooks it and see how it tastes when it's done. Okay, so for our first test, you know, spaghetti's boring. We're going to cook some rigatoni. So here we have a, a pound of rigatoni. Take it, throw it in the pasta and more. Now for the pound, it recommends in the cookbook that we fill this up to level eight. There's a, a couple different levels that are sitting here on the side. They're right here on this side, they're right here on this side. We have water. You're going to fill this up to level eight. So let me do that now. Now in the infomercial at the beginning, they show a lady fumbling around the kitchen with a couple pots and pans in her hand. If you freeze frame that, if you hit pause, she's holding a couple utensils that you really don't need to cook pasta. And it's really exaggerated that she's falling all over the kitchen holding these things. I've cooked a lot of pasta in my day and I've never had to trip and fall with uh, you know, the one pot and that I need to cook the pasta. So now you have to place this in here for 27 minutes, stirring halfway through. So again, you're not saving too much time, but uh, you know, Let's see how the taste, you know, comes out when it's done. So let's put the pasta and more in. Close this. 27 minutes. We'll go halfway through and start. And we'll be back in 27 minutes to tell you how the rigged turning turned out. Okay, so the 27 minutes has passed. We're back. Uh, the rigatoni is done. We actually, we uh, use the strainer lid here uh, to strain the excess water. One thing to note, the strainer lid fits really nicely. Uh, the holes on the strainer lid are a little bit small, so you really kind of have to shake it around to get all the water out. I'm not even sure, I mean, we shook it around a while. I'm not even sure if all the water is out of it. Uh, one more thing to note, the strainer lid folds in half. So when we were shaking it around in this seam here where the, load, where the lid um, folds in half, some water came out on our thumbs. We were trying to hold it on and shake it around. And that could kind of burn you. That water is pretty, you know, pretty hot. So, rigatoni is done. Water is strained out of it. A couple things to note. It's kind of clumping and sticking together a little bit. And it seems like the pasta on the bottom is almost falling apart. Uh, that's enough for a little demonstration here. Let's put the rest of it here. These uh, little side handles are actually nice. You can kind of put your finger in and if you want to hold it, they're not hot at all, uh, which, is, which is nice. Uh, we had to have a little jar of the gravy here. I'm going to grab it. Oh, just dab it over to pasta. And uh, we'll just take a quick little taste test here and let you know how, uh, how the pasta turned out. I don't, obviously don't have my fork with me. Staying classy here. Hmm. Just based upon that taste test, it seems like it's almost overcooked a little bit. It's kind of chewy. They do say in the cookbook that cooking times vary depending on what microwave oven you use. So possibly you could dial this into your specific microwave after a couple times. But again, I'm not so sure on what the point is. If it's going to take 27 minutes to cook it, you probably can just boil a pot of water like you normally would and cook the pasta, you know, like you usually do. Uh, 
I would go ahead and say that it, it's it's okay. It does an okay job. It's definitely not the best pasta I've ever had in my life. Uh, again, it's a little overcooked, a little chewy. It kind of clumped together a little bit, and it seems to be falling apart at the bottom. Let's move on and test it with some other different uh, types of food. Here we are for test two. Uh, it's called the pasta and more. We're going to check out how it cooks more. We have four ears of corn. We're going to steam cook them using the steaming tray. Water level for this is going to be at water level one. So I see water level one here on my pasta and more. I will fill it to that level. There we are. Water level one. Steam rack goes in. So now the steam rack is in. The water is just literally touching the steam rack. Corn goes in side by side, one on top of the other. Uh, corn going in side by side, one on top of the other. Now for this cooking process, they say you have to put the steam lid on. Uh, this is obviously for straining and steaming. Having a hard time fitting it with the, with the corn. Let me see if I can adjust and possibly get this thing to fit. Okay, so a little bit of adjusting. It does fit four ears of corn. Now this is going to go in the microwave for seven minutes. So let's throw it in and see how it comes out. If this could steam corn in seven minutes, that might be pretty nice. You know, see how it came out. Hmm. Not done. The corn on top definitely didn't steam uh, properly. Let me take off the other top one. Let me check out this bottom piece here. Hmm. The corn on the bottom is actually cooked a lot better than the corn on the top. The corn on the top did not cook properly. It does not taste steamed at all. It is almost kind of raw. I'm going to go ahead and say the pasta and more uh, failed pretty miserably at steaming four ears of corn. Okay, we're back with our final test. Uh, we're going to use the pasta and more to cook cheese ravioli. So here we have our bag of cheese ravioli. I'm going to go ahead and place it in the pasta and more. Uh, water level eight. Here we have our water. Let's go ahead and fill this up to water level eight. It's going to go in the microwave for 18 minutes. So. We'll see you guys in 18 minutes. Okay, we're back, uh, 18 minutes. We've strained the water. Who doesn't like ravioli? Go ahead and grab a couple. Just put them on the plate here. Separate them out. A little gravy. And uh, let's take a look at uh, how these turned out. Feel a little firm. They're excellent. Uh, cooked very thoroughly. Um, I'm going to say I passed the test with the ravioli. They're excellent. Overall, the pasta and more says to do, you know, pasta corn, among other things. We've put it to the test here. When we cooked regular pasta, it fell a little bit short. It was kind of overcooked, very chewy. Clumped up at the top, kind of falling apart at the bottom. Corn, it failed. Uh, didn't cook our baked potatoes. Ravioli did well with. Now, it was close enough on the corn and the potato that possibly if you use this product enough and you tested it within your own microwave, you can kind of get used to the times that you might need to cook it. And if you adjust the times versus what it says in the cookbook, you might be able to get this thing to work perfectly for you. Starreviews.com is going to give the pasta and more four out of six stars. It's a good product. It's a decent product if you, know, you, you want to have a younger person cook without the worry of them burning themselves on a hot stove. Uh, but overall, it's really not going to save you too much time versus the conventional methods to cook pasta.